I spent two weeks in Los Angeles and after I went to TwitchCon in San Diego. I have so many stories for you. It's insane. Do you know how you motherfuckers like to compare me to people? You know, you have this silly little bit where you're like, oh, it was a spectacle where I saw this ginger twink in this 27 year old piece of media today and it reminded me of you. Okay, that's what you sound like. I don't know what it is about me, but people see me in the street having never met me before in their life and they go, hey, you look like that guy. What the fuck, man? You can't do that. You guys are my chatters. We have like a sort of agreement going on here, dude. In my first day in America, day one, okay? Day one, I'm in America. I'm walking out the door. The security guard is like, hey man, you bulk up those shoulders a little bit. You hit the gym, you, you bulk those up. You could look like Cyclops from the X-Men. And then he opened the door for me. I'm like, fuck you, dude. You're gonna tell me I need gains the instant you see me? This is crazy. TwitchCon was fun too. I got to meet a few people from the community. I got to see Evan Gao and Hudat and do a bunch of fun shit. This is me, Hudat, and Evan Gao. Just hanging with the boys. This is me at the LA Observatory. And it's beautiful. It's free. Highly. This is probably one of my high, most highly recommended places. Because... It's really, really, really nice. And it's free and you get sick views of LA. Did you go to watch the concert? No, I was doing, I was at the live wine about it show the same night. I heard the Atrox thing is really sick though. Like everybody who told me about it said they, like it was really great. And I just think it's so cute. I think it's so cute that the music community has turned into something where you guys are putting on like actually insane shows like that. So I'm, I'm just like, aw. Did you see Hassan's debate lords? Oh, I saw clips of it. I think it was great. I, I heard it was really dope. Cutie Cinderella at her cookie truck. And she actually recognized me and I was like, what the hell? How? Uh, how the fuck do you know who I am? I think she just must be good at faces. But I was very like, oh my God, she knows who I am. Oh my own G. But when I went to give her a hug through this narrow opening on, I'm pretty sure, chat, if you want, you can scrub the stream for this moment because I was on the start of, it was like at right at the start. I like almost punched Cutie in the head <laughs> accidentally. Cause I was like, you know, she went for like a hug and I was like, oh, and then it was like kind of like close quarters. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, guys, I can't watch myself back. I'm cringing at myself. Hello. Oh, I know you too. Hello. Oh, hey, it's cutie. nice to see. I'm sorry. It's so. Oh, oh God. No, I hit her face. My arm hit the side, man. You don't understand. My arm hit the side, dude. Oh, it's nice. No. Oh, my God, bro. Ah, I feel bad. No fast 51. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I can't watch this clip again. I'm actually. I'm actually gonna throw up. <laughs> Don't say classic. It's not classic, man. I punch women in Hitman and men and the NBs. I'm progressive, dude. I would punch all 9.7% of you that aren't men. In the video game and not in real life, obviously. It was a mistake. We love that hands rated E for everybody. That just activated a neuron in my brain. Out. The security guard at this bar I went into, he was like talking about how he did live service. He's like, I got, you know, like 3,400 confirmed kills. These hands are rated E for everybody. And I'm like, okay. I felt like I was at a checkpoint, brother. I guess I just looked young. Guys, also on 9-11, I was in America. So I decided to do the most American thing. And I went to a baseball game. I went to an LA Dodgers game. That shit goes crazy. You know, I was like, it won't be too scary. It was Laws' first time in the US. So I was like, I don't want to take you to like a basketball game. It's going to be loud as fuck. It'll be going crazy. Plus, it's literally not in season right now. But that's a, an aside. So I was like, let's go to a baseball game. The Dodgers arena was fucking packed, man. We our section completely full, actually completely full. But there were these three young dudes sitting like a couple rows in front of us and they were wearing the opposite team's jerseys, right? They were wearing Cubs jerseys. And at first it was just a bit of fun, playful banter. But then these guys started getting a little drunk, a little rowdy, and they started turning around and talking shit, and they started standing up way too much. Need I remind you guys, we are in downtown Los Angeles in a packed, packed, I'm talking fucking packed section. And the guy next to me is like, dude, 
there was a guy who got paralyzed last year because he was like, he got beat up. And I'm like, yeah. Like I started to realize that these guys were being really fucking dumb. It's a terrible place to talk shit. I don't know if they're in this video, but anyways, they ended up getting kicked out for underage drinking. And everybody in the section's like, fuera. And just like talking shit. And I was like, probably for the better that they had to leave early. This Snapchat, this is me playing basketball. I was so sweaty. It was during the heat wave. During the day, it was 40 degrees Celsius. And it was humid. This is like 8 p.m. at night. I was sweating my ass off. You know the, the meme where it's like, blank will never be ballin', and then the guy spits out his cereal when they are ballin'? Dude, I went and played basketball with Atrioc on the first Sunday that I got there, and it was a sick group of guys. Like, a lot of them that I kind of, like, sort of knew. It was, like, stands, fucking, like, the boys, Point Crow, I think, even showed up. A bunch of people that was, like, actually so sick to see. And I was moving out there, brother. I'm not very good at basketball, but I'm kind of, like, qu I'm quick, I'm athletic, and I'm, no I'm used to living at, like, 3,000 feet. When I was at sea level, I actually felt like an Olympic level athlete <laughs> in terms of cardio, and I had the best time. You know how Kobe once said, I'd rather have a guy go 0-30 than 0-6? Because 0-6 means he stopped trying? That was me out there. If you hit the pick and roll on me and you give me the spot, I'm going to jack up the three. Now, did I go like three for fucking 15? Maybe. I hit this one deep three and it was just like perfect swish. And I was like, oh, this is what drugs feel like, man. And it was a really good group of guys. Like everybody was kind of at the same level. There were a couple people who were like a little bit better, but it was just like really, really good vibes. And so I went back the next Sunday and balled again. And it was dope, man. I got to see a bunch of people that I knew. I got to hang out, play with Doug Doug a bit guys when i was balling though i pull up to the court and i'm like fuck everybody on that court was six feet plus dude i'm trying to guard aiden calvin from the yard it looks like fucking kevin durant and isaiah thomas dude they kept hitting the pick and roll switching some super tall guy onto me <laughs> but it was really fun like i'm i'm an effort player i had a fucking blast and so getting the chance to play basketball with like a bunch of creators that I like know and, and like was really, really sick. Definitely one of the highlights of my trip for sure. In a range of 10 to 100, how many times did you get recognized? Maximum 10. <laughs> Can we go with a range of one to 10? Because I think I probably got recognized by like five to 10 people, which is honestly kind of sick. If I get recognized at all at a Twitch event, I'm like, ah, really? Dude, it's me, Laws, Skatebeard, and Stormfall. Dude, Skatebeard, Stormfall, Laws, Mungo, million other RP people I met. It was a blast, dude. Skatebeard is so freaking funny in real life, man. Wait, Storm is tiny? I can't. No, guys, I'm just like 6'3". It's all, it's, it's all off because like I'm a little, you know me, I'm a little bit of a lanky guy. No, you're fucking short. Guys, look at the... Are you seeing the fucking length? Storm's wearing boots. Let's look at those. She's got lifts on. This is me when we went to Universal at Super Nintendo World. I was wearing a Bass Pro Shop shirt. This is me near Santa Monica Pier. Look at all these squirrels, man. There were so many of these little dudes everywhere. This is like right by the highway. And they were hanging out right by the fence, like kind of just chilling. They're so cute. This is Venice Beach. This is where I dug up the mole crab. Dude, this is me climbing. I'm not showing you a climbing video though. Embarrassing. You climbed without me. Nixalay was in LA, man. I went to the Museum of Asian American History and it was fucking beautiful and so sad and it made me cry multiple times. Uh, we went to Little Tokyo. It was a really cute area with all these little shops. It was a bunch of like gotcha Pokemon shit, you know? Get a bubble tea. And then I was like, oh, that's cute and fun and upbeat. Let's go to the Museum of Asian American History. And then it was just so somber. It was really well done. A lot of it was talking about like the American, like fucking concentration camps for lack of a better word for Japanese immigrants to like the start of World War II. In this one story, I was like, dude, Ralph Lazo, he was known in the Japanese American community for being a good friend. He was born in LA in 1924 with Spanish Irish parents. And he grew up, went to school with a Japanese 
Americans in the city. And when they were being uh, rounded up and sent to the inland concentration camps, he decided to go with them. He wasn't Japanese American, but just because he passed, he stayed in an internment camp with people. And when he was asked, why did you go to camp? You didn't have to go. He would reply simply, none of us should have had to go. <laughs> oh, that is the most fucking, oh my God, bro. If you ever go to LA, I would recommend checking it out. It's actually like really well done. It's pretty cheap museum. I don't think I have any more good pictures, but I do have this, which is Mercury looking incredibly mad at me when I came back. Did you do anything fun in San Diego besides TwitchCon? I didn't really do much in San Diego. I went to Universal Studios in LA and like did some other shit. In San Diego, it was basically just TwitchCon and like going out to bars and stuff. Kind of like a golden retriever when you let me loose at a party with a bunch of people I know. Like I'm just like, oh my God, oh hi, hi, good to see you. How you going, where are you from? Oh, hey, cool, hi. And then someone else walks by and they're like, yo, what's up? And I'm like, OMG, hey, you know? like So like I really enjoy events where you just get to go around and like talk to a bunch of different people. I hate, uh, dude, I, the fucking internet has ruined my brain. I just said talk to a, and it, and it instantly, you guys all heard it too, right? Fuck, man. I wasn't even, I was like on vacation. I was on Twitter for a total of like three hours.